charge Q is distributed to two different metallic spheres. So, let us say this is our first metallic sphere, this is our second metallic sphere having radii R and 2 R. So, this is your capital R, this is your 2 R such that both the spheres have equal surface charge density. So, sigma 1 and this is sigma 2, sigma 1 will be equals to sigma 2. Then what is the charge on the larger sphere which means they are asking this charge. So, let us call this as q1, let us call it as q2, correct. So, what will be your uh, sigma 1, sigma 1 will be charge upon area because they are spheres, so it will be 4 pi r square. The second one will be q2, that will be upon 4 pi into 2 r square. Anyone has any doubt, speak up. Okay. Now, they are saying the charge Q is distributed to both. So, Q1 plus Q2 is capital Q. So, this is equation 2 and that is equation 1. Let us solve them and figure out Q1 and Q2 both. Okay. But they are asking Q2 only. So, our options are for Q2, but we will find it for both. Let us see. So, 4 pi cancels with 4 pi and q1 upon r square will be equals to q2 upon 4 r square, 4 r square. So, this r square cancels with r square, we left with 4 times q1 is equals to q2, 4 times q1 is equals to q2, I hope this is clear. Now, let us substitute it in the second equation. So, q1 plus 4 times q1 is equals to q. So, 5 times q1 is equals to q. So, charge on the first one will be q by 5. So, the charge on the first sphere is one fifth of the total charge. Then what can we say that about the charge on the second sphere? The charge on the second sphere will be q2 will be 4 times q1. So, 4 times q by 5. So, is there any option 4 by 5 of q? Yes, option A.